When it comes to the NASCAR Drive for Diversity program, we have future drivers who have minorities that want to make a name for themselves in NASCAR. Most notably, we have current Cub drivers Kyle Larson, Bubba Wallace, Daniel Suarez, and then we got current Xfinity Series driver Ryan Vargas, and they got Roger Carruth and Nick Sanchez who will do some Xfinity races next year. And then we got Gracie Trotters. It's a long list of drivers who were and are that are in the diversity program. Most of the diverse drivers go to the famous Rev Racing to start their stock car career. That was the same case for the Colombian American driver Sergio Pena. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Epileptic Bumblebee for giving me a video idea on Sergio Pena. I'll get to the rise and fall part later in the video, which is debatable. Other than that, I appreciate the idea. With that being said, let's get to the video, shall we? Sergio Pena was born on February 13th, 1993 from Winchester, Virginia. Pena did some dirt bike racing at the age of 4. His father, Gyro, raced in go-karts and motocross in Colombia, so it was easier for Sergio to follow his father's footsteps. Pena would do some go-karts, formula and late models before making a big step to his racing career. In 2010, 16-year-old Sergio Pena would join Revolution Racing. He did road course racing throughout his young racing career, so oval racing and short track racing is new to him. Pena would make his first K&N Pro Series start at Irwindale for the NASCAR Toyota All-Star Showdown. Hey, anybody remember that event? I sure do. Good times. Anyway, Pena would steal the spotlight from starting on the pole and finishing second to current cup driver Joey Logano. Pena and Logano would be the only leaders of the race with six lead changes. Sergio Pena's 2010 season was not the best with only three top tens. His 2011 season would be a lot better. How? Well, here it is. Sergio Pena with the expectation so high after his all-star near win. Gresham gets sideways. It allows De Benedetto to get side by side for second. One to go. White flag comes out. A great battle for second. They're door to door. Matt De Benedetto on the inside. Gresham on the outside. They continue to fight as the four comes out of turn number four. Sergio Pena is going to win this race. Sergio Pena gets the checkers. And De Benedetto just barely holds off Gresham for second. White flag goes in the air. One lap to go for Sergio Pena. I think he's got it. He can negotiate this last half a lap. Brett Moffitt's a little bit too far back. Expectations have been high for Sergio Pena for two years. And he will go to victory lane at Langley. Congratulations, Sergio Pena. What a smart race. It looked like through the middle portion of the race that he saved his tires. And when he needed him at the end, he had him. So inside of one lap remaining, Chase Elliott currently running in the third spot. Our race leader, Sergio Pena, in front of Brett Moffitt comfortably. And the white flag has flown for our leader. Chase Elliott just got the white flag, and you see the gap between Sergio Pena and Chase. Remember, Elliott's running third. Sergio Pena comes out of turn number four. He'll win his third career race here at Greenville Pickens Speedway. And did it in dominating fashion, too. What a nice run by Sergio Pena. Sergio Pena's 2011 stats did improve. He won three races. He also had four top fives and seven top tens and an average finish of 11.4 and finished fifth in points. In his personal life that year, he graduated from James Wood High School and attended Radford University for two years when he was studying for mechanical engineering and communications to enhance his racing career, to learn about cars, and how to properly conduct himself with the media. His 2012 season with Hattori was winless, but he had three top fives and eight top tens. His average finish was a 12.3 and finished 10th in points. 2013 was a different year for Sergio because he did some races in the Pro Series East and did three races in the Pro Series West. He only had one top ten in the East Series, but in the West Series, he had two top fives and three top tens. In 2014, Sergio Pena would go full-time racing again for Red Racing. Despite having a mediocre season, he did win a race at Columbus. He also had two top fives and six top tens. 2014 would be the last year doing full time in the NASCAR Canaan Pro Series for East and West. Between 2015 and 2016, he raced in five starts for the East Series. He would win one more race at VRR and had one top five and three top tens two years combined. To this day, Sergio Pena does late model races for the NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series. So, did Sergio Pena have a rise and fall moment of his career? 
To be honest, I do not think he had a rise and fall moment. Sergio is one of those drivers that never had a chance to move up to the higher up series like the truck series. He did have the funding from his father uh, when he was doing the pro series. But if Sergio had the funding and sponsors to move up to the next level, would he have been talented in the cup series? Well, in my opinion, I think his NASCAR career, if he did went further, would either be like A, like a Daniel Suarez kind of career in the Cup Series, or B, he would not really have a successful Cup Series driver. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that he was a talented driver. Sadly, Sergio Pena is one of those NASCAR drivers that never had any other opportunities. Thankfully, like I mentioned, he is still racing to this day doing some late models. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to give a shout out one more time to Epileptic Bumblebee for giving me a racing topic idea. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more motorsports related content. Also, if I missed anything or did I got something wrong about Sergio Pena and all that stuff, feel free to let me know. A lot of help would be appreciated. Thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.